We begin this afternoon with breaking news in Seattle's Chinatown International District. A mass stabbing attack with five victims. We have video just in from a DOT camera that shows the moment one of them was attacked and then falls to the ground. Today's violence comes after five other stabbings in the same area in a 24-hour time span. Couple's Jeremy Harris is live at the scene with the very latest details. Jeremy, police are now saying they do have someone in custody. That's right. We don't know. We don't know too much about that suspect other than he's being interviewed right now and he was arrested just feet away from the scene here at 12th and Jackson in Seattle's Chinatown International District. Police just within the last few minutes took the crime scene tape down and left the scene. But what happened here today was just unbelievable. There have now been 10 people stabbed in this neighborhood since yesterday morning. Five of those happening just here at 12th and Jackson around 1.15 this afternoon. We'll show you some video of what the scene looked like when we got here. We were up here working on a story about the five previous stabbings when we heard chaos. We heard police sirens. We heard yelling. We ran up the street and found multiple people had been stabbed in the intersection at 12th and Jackson. Those first responders, Seattle police, they moved so fast to help those victims. They were applying pressure to the wounds. Some of those victims had been stabbed in the back. Others looked like they had been stabbed in the chest. It was an absolutely chaotic scene as that was all unfolding. Now, adding to this is that the fact that this was after there had been five people stabbed in separate attacks since yesterday morning. We know Seattle police had surged the area with patrols. We could see undercover officers going around the neighborhood, making sure things were okay. And that was before this five-person stabbing at 12th and Jackson at around 1 o'clock. We just were able to talk with Deputy Chief Eric Barden of Seattle Police, and here's what he told us. Uh, there's a similar uh, description, of uh, suspect description. The randomness of this, uh, this is a horrific uh, tragedy, a mass casualty event. And right now, again, four of the victims who were stabbed here were transported up to Harborview Medical Center. They all survived. We don't know the extent of their injuries. The fifth person who was stabbed here was treated at the scene and then released. We know several of the previous stabbing victims were also taken up to Harborview with just horrible injuries. One person stabbed in the throat, others who'd been stabbed in the back, another victim who'd been stabbed in the chest multiple times. Are all of these stabbings from the same person? That is the big question the Seattle police are trying to answer right now. While they can't say definitively yes, they are glad they got that suspect in custody within minutes of the stabbing here this afternoon at 12th and Jackson. The fallout from this is going to be significant. People in this neighborhood have dealt with a lot over the last few years. We have reported up here. I've talked to these business owners. I know them by their first names, and they tell me they are just sick and tired of 12th and Jackson constantly being the center of chaos and violence in Seattle. The deputy chief addressed that. We've heard from the mayor a little bit, but ultimately the situation up here for these folks who live here and work here is say it's unacceptable and it's unimaginable that 10 people have been stabbed in this neighborhood since yesterday morning. We're going to stay up here. We're going to stay on top of the story. We'll bring you developments as we get them this afternoon. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Jeremy, before you go, I do want to ask you a question because obviously we know right now that there are people at Harborview Medical Center being treated, some with multiple stab wounds, some minor uh, some very serious, and I'm just curious if you know or not uh, the size of this weapon, the size of this knife potentially used in some of the stabbings done today, uh, just to maybe get an idea as to how severe some of these victims are right now in the hospital. I'm just curious. Well, Preston, when we got up to the scene, and I, I don't have a direct answer to your question, but what I can tell you is that when we got to the scene, there were multiple people who'd been stabbed and were on the ground. And of course, they're in extreme pain if they'd just been stabbed. We saw one person had a knife sticking out of their back. So we don't know if there were multiple knives that were used or what the attack weapon in every case was, but it was enough to cause major damage to these people. It was absolutely heartbreaking to sit there and watch these people who were just standing at 12th and Jackson and ended up getting stabbed. One of them still with a knife in his back, begging for help from the police. It was horrible. And uh, we'll, But yeah, as far as uh, if there were multiple weapons used or what type of weapon other than a knife, that's something we're still trying to get from police. And we know you'll stay on top of it, Jeremy. Thank you. Stay with Como News throughout the day and into this evening as we get the latest details on this rash of stabbing attacks in the CID. We'll have the latest details right here on the air and online at ComoNews.com. And that brings us to our local Como Pulse poll. You can scan the QR code here on your screen to participate. We're asking, what would make you feel safer visiting Seattle? This is a live look at the results right now. And you can see 
49% here say visible police presence. 44% say stricter drug enforcement. 4% say more lighting at night. And then only 3% here say more businesses.